clinics. Wow. And I just went, and like, I remember I got 33 days, I had a one-armed guy in my, and uh, I remember getting, back when you could carry your money, you carried your money on you, they'd wash it, and yeah, you had guys fucking with the soap and the socks, fuck, I had one guy making the right. the ball bags, yeah. you put, tie your bag under your balls, and then you're only allowed 40 bucks a day. My uh, mother of my kids had to wait nine hours to give me 40 bucks. And I went down there to go get my money, and I was I was having a bag made. I had my shoes in Hawk for 10 uh, brand new visions. They wanted bad, they were turquoise, all the brothers wanted them. Right, right. So I got 10 cools. <laughs> I don't even smoke menthol, 10 cools. And I, I said by this day or my shoes are gonna be gone. Dude, you don't wanna be one of the guys that are missing your shoes in there. And so I had those up in Hawk. So I had to get that 40 bucks and I think I owed him 10 bucks for the cigarettes. And then I owed five bucks for the ball bag. So I was gonna, I got my right. money. I was walking back up, the turnkey opens it. You go down all by yourself. Yeah. And I got jumped, you know, on my way to there. I remember just throwing, a 20 got into my cell. I was right in front of my cell and I was waiting for the thing to turn and the fucking trustees were on white boy and just fucking came, rushed me. And I threw the money, tried to throw it into my cell. Oh. Two of the tens went floating, what? a 20 went in. Oh, my, the one arm guy was, they were trying to teach me how to meditate because I was crazy white boy. At the, then I started talking all black like a dumb shit and I started repeating like a Eddie Murphy fucking joke and everyone in Denver and, oh, you know, they have eight, uh, they call Abel, it's the same thing as Abel Baker, Charlie Dan, Dan, uh, Dan you know, like football, I don't yeah, remember, it's, okay. it's 9,500 and then there's like A, B, C, right. and D, all of them shut up when I was telling my head, they could tell a white boy was telling it, and then I, they had, I have, have two guys in front of me and a guy behind me for like two weeks going to the chow hall because they're going to jump me, I should fucking rat like a microwave inside, on top of not being able to sleep, so... When I first went in through processing, I I needed methadone bad, and I was all beat up from the hawk incident. And, right. Because I was smashing into the planners at the street contest, and I like every. That's what I love about the. Uh, yeah, I remember that. I remember Gator Doc and all that shit. Everyone freaked out about the street skating because it was all he had nobody and none of the bird guys knew what to do with it and shit, and, and I. I fucking couldn't even hardly stand on my board. I had screws coming up through the bottom of my board because I couldn't huh? feel my feet right. from all the dope and methadone and the whatever. So when I got into into jail, I, I dove down the stairs. I, I was locked in a thing after 17 hours of processing. I was freaking out. I was The California level then was 80 milligrams. It's like 130 now or 140 or something crazy. Mm -hmm. But that was high then, and then I was freaking out, and then it was like, um, brothers, uh, I'm getting, first, first thing when you go in there, a guy's screaming, uh -huh. okay, and they got all these cages down right. at the bottom, and you just one of fucking four or five hundred guys, and all these guys circled this one guy who's screaming, so he's getting butt fucked. And that's my introduction to fucking L.A. County. And everyone's looking, and you just gotta follow gotcha. it and look like you, okay? So I turn my back to the screams, like everyone else, and just look out like, what are you looking, you know? And I just fall in, or you're gonna fucking get singled out, and you're just going up to you. right. Inside, you're dying. And then right. the bloods and the crypts, I didn't know anything about that. It was all oh, brand geez. new. Colors wasn't even out yet, so I was right. in uh, the first place they threw me was three days. That's why I was kicking so hard. Three days in Carson City on these curbs, and it just built up. And we, it was a three-day weekend holiday, and then it was like, are you fucking? And then we got all got on the bus, and they had a cage in between the bus, and all these fucking brothers hated each other. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was right in front of the cage on top of each other. I'd never seen so much hatred in my life. Uh. So I knew son, this is the Bloods and the Crips. I didn't know anything about this uh. shit. I was just rattled like a mother <laughs> acting like I see it every day. And going, what the fuck is going on? Because I've been in a bathroom for a long fucking time and I get stabbed by Mexicans or have your occasional blow up from San Francisco in the fucking tenderloin and shit like that, right. but nothing like this. It was like fucking colors, you know? And it, All right. So I was clueless. When I got upstairs at the, at, after 17 hours of seeing the butt fucking and this, I was rattled and I needed a fix. All right. 
And I, I just go, hey, you guys yell man down to the black guys, and they're like, what? I go, just yell man down when I fucking go into those bars. And they're like, what's the top? And I just went over, I put a bunch of water in my mouth, I don't know why. And <laughs> I just went to the sink and filled up my mouth with water. Well, first I hyperventilated. I just sat on the fucking whatever curb thing and just started hyperventilating like I was crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which, whatever. <clears throat> and then I walked over to the water thing, filled up my mouth with water. And these guys are all quiet. And I just fucking looked at the bars and I just fucking dove into them as hard as I could with my head and splattered the water everywhere. And just, I was having a lot of seizures at the time from right. all the coke and the whatever. Right. Yes, we'll talk about it with Mormon today. He was, we were on motorcycles and I had one at uh, Cook's Corner going, and I just missed the fuck. My bike was demolished. But I had a seizure <laughs> on my bike, woke up to the ambulance again. So I knew what, how to act when I, you come out of a seizure. You just don't know what they're asking who the president is. So I just went into the full seizure, had some punk rock, the worm. Right. Head into the fucking right. bars and crazy white boy is going to town. I need a fix. They're gonna fucking do me up. And then fucking next, these guards are gnarly. Fucking 26 inch arms, sergeant fucking robot fucking right. Terminator from hell, you know. Right. And they open the door and they're just like they're kicking me. But hey, you done yet? I'm gonna. You know, you know the full fucking right. giving a a fucking star fucking whatever Grammy award winning performance and, and they're like well look to... buddy we're gonna shut the fucking door you got you done I started going oh shit I better wake up uh, uh, eh, uh, eh, eh. four or five of them they're kind of laughing at you because you're a junkie scabby and all that crap and they're like they, they don't want to touch you you know they're kicking me hey look, oh, we're, you want to go to the doctor come on I went, oh, hey, and then we're shutting the door right now. And I go, oh, there, there's no, who's the president? Or I don't give a fuck. It's like, the, we're here, you missed the boat or not. And I go, oh, man. So I don't want to hang out with these guys no more. I just fucking did that. You right. know? And so, uh, yeah. And then they walk me to the stairs. And then they're like, go down. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm going to have to go down these stairs. Um, I, I can't make it. Dude, we're not gonna touch you. Go down the fucking stairs or you're going back to your cage. And I just go, uh huh. And I knew I had to go down. There's sharp fucking with the turn down the way. And I just did that full uh, over into the stair time, down the thing, fully eat shit back, fucking crap. And this is before the stair diving years on the road where I have to fucking jump these stairs because I'm too drunk to be able to do anything else so I became evil can evil stair diver because you just get kicked out of clubs <laughs> with stairs you're just like tell these bouncers to get off me I'll do a flip down these stairs I haven't done any of this gnarly yet so it's just like did that at the bottom of the thing end up in a fucking come on freak you know how to get off junk oh stop using it <laughs> that shit you're just like where would they take it Locked me up in the infirmary, ice cold, full straps, eight hours for reeking out, kicking methadone, and just like, fuck, and then guess what? Right in the beginning of the line, here we go again. And when I got back up to those guys, it was like 28 hours later, I don't know, however many hours later, they were still in the same fucking room, and they were all clapping when I get, when they came in, but it was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Command Did you get anything for that shit? No. <laughs> Strapped up for eight hours. Go through processing again. Oh, Dude, right. so I can't even imagine quick. being strapped up kicking with that anxiety oh, and crazy ice legs. Cold room, dude. It was so crazy, crazy legs and just yeah. kicking, strapped. I had fucked up so bad. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> You know when you just wish you had a rewinder so bad? Why? What? What? What is wrong with me? You know.